CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner picks up our team coverage live from Miami International Airport. Morgan, what can you tell us? A little chaotic there? Yeah, just a little, but Maribel, <laughs> first, you know, I promised everyone about 30 minutes ago that coming up at this hour, I would be speaking to a cybersecurity expert, and I keep my promises. He is here next to me now, joining me live. This is Andre. He is the CEO of his own cybersecurity company. Andre, let's just start with what exactly is going on. Well, it's unfortunate. Um, basically, you have a software company. They do advanced enterprise antivirus. It's called CrowdStrike. They're in about at least half of the Fortune 500 companies. And what we have is that, according to the reports, they push a software update, which is very normal. Every day they push updates. And this update, unfortunately, had a conflict with the Windows operating system, and it crashed all of the computers. Wow. So all morning long, I've been talking to some angry passengers, and some of them, several, have actually mentioned they believe this was a hack. Any indication on your part that could have been played a role here? Well, so the CEO of CrowdStrike has already come out and says, look, we know exactly what the problem is. We've we worked with Microsoft. We have a um, way to reverse this. There's no indication that it's a cyber attack. And you were telling me earlier, which you know I find very interesting, and I think passengers deserve to know, how long do you think it's going to take to get everything back in order? Well, and the steps that Microsoft and CrowdStrike have to do now is because these computers are essentially not online, they can't just have an IT professional run an update to reverse what just happened. They have to literally go computer by computer, an IT professional, computer by computer to reverse this. And that's going to take a long time. So I could easily see this being days or weeks of systems down from the airlines to the banks to apps on your phone. Have we ever seen anything like this? I have not. In the 20 years I've been doing this, this is the worst I've seen. Wow. Something else that we were talking about, uh, just the huge impact this is having. How is it that just one software update could impact everything from banks to media, us, we were having issues this morning, to airlines, planes across the globe being grounded? How is it that one piece of technology has such a large impact like this? You know, it's weird because CrowdStrike is a very respectable company, and when they do these type of updates, they test, and they test, and they test in all different environments. So someone really dropped the ball. Someone truly made a mistake because this should not have happened. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. I do want to give you a look now at what is going on here at the airport. I teased to it earlier. This is the Delta line, and it is long. It would take several minutes for us to walk all the way down there. Um, it goes for a while. Now, a lot of the passengers in this line obviously are upset by what is going on. These passengers here were told by a gate agent that came out about 30 minutes ago that the only people that should be getting in line at this hour are those who have flights before noon. Anyone who has a flight that's scheduled to leave after noon is not allowed to get into this line just yet. Um, we've been looking at the boards all morning long. A lot of the incoming flights are delayed, obviously, because of what is going on, which will then impact the flights that are leaving afterwards. Uh, so in other areas of this airport, which we have been walking around all morning long, for example, we were at Spirit not too long ago, where I did see police officers talking to to a group of people, we were told there that the ticket counters were shut down. No one was talking to anyone. And so several frustrated passengers actually broke in. I was told broke into one of the offices on the lower level trying to get some answers. And when I got there, there was a crowd of people outside of that office with police officers, gate agent came out to talk to everyone and then said, OK, we will be opening up the ticket counter and everyone rushed over there. So I think a lot of the anger this morning is coming from the lack of information. And this is something that Andre and I were talking about before I went live on TV. You know, all morning long, I was seeing people come in and their phones were saying that their flights were still on time. You know, we had someone come in that had an 820 flight. I spoke to him at 745. His said that his was still on time. And he believes that is also part of this issue. It's that their phone updates are not working through the airlines. And so that is why a lot of people are not getting those updates on their phone. We will be here throughout the morning. We'll keep an eye on these long lines. Hopefully they get better. But Delta, for one, has said to expect delays and cancellations throughout the day. For now, I'm live at Miami International Airport. Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.